Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Wolverine from the X-Men Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we have Wolverine in the front window box. We get the X logo at the top. On the side we do get some very cool artwork of Wolverine. It's the same thing on the other side. On the back we get a very cool product shot along with all the other figures needed in this wave to complete the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. And up here we do have the read-up, razor sharp claws and an incredible accelerated healing ability make Wolverine a nearly unstoppable threat. And on the bottom we do have the UPC code so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have it in stock. But enough about that, let's get this open and take a look at Wolverine. And here is Wolverine in his tiger stripe uniform out of the packaging. And uh, just like so many figures in this wave, uh, it is awesome to get another classic look uh, for Wolverine. Uh, this uh, variation on his costume definitely made popular by the X-Men uh, TV show from the 90s, the animated series. Uh, but uh, very, very cool to be getting this. Uh, out of the packaging, you do have some of the same issues with the claws that we've seen in the past. I, I don't do anything to them when I take them out, but you see I got a, a crooked one here. This one I actually did manage to get in, but it's very loose. I'll probably have to do my, uh, maybe put some of the uh, that floor gloss or floor polish on there to see if that might help tighten up that uh, peg a bit. But uh, yeah, very cool figure. Uh, he does come with the tubes for the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure, and then he does come with a fisted hand that does not have the ports for the claws. I'm not really going to do a separate uh, section on that. We'll just take a look at a fisted hand um, without the claws and a fisted hand with the claws here when we do our closer looks, which we're doing right now. And getting in up close here with Wolverine, we can see a very cool head sculpt. And uh, I love that we get finally a angry face uh, on one of the uh, main releases. The Juggernaut Wave Wolverine just had a very calm looking face, which is uh, definitely not very common for Wolverine to be calm. So I love that we get this, uh, this nasty snarl. But the mask actually has some really cool sculpt lines in it that definitely give you that feeling that it is a mask, which is very cool. Um, yeah, I like it a lot and uh you know very simple coloring throughout so definitely very cool going down looking at the tiger stripes these actually came out really clean uh don't really see any paint issues really with any of them whether they be on the shoulders on the back side yeah those tiger stripes came out very very clean something we didn't have with uh, the other wolverine because he didn't have them we do have these shoulder pads uh, which they do flex, and actually they can technically come off. They're just held on with uh, these ports. And one thing you'll notice that's really cool is one port is bigger than the other. So uh, if you do happen to take these off and forget the orientation, they can only go back in one way. And that is to say the big port goes in the back and the little port goes in the front. And there you go. So that is definitely very, very cool. Uh, looking down, similar belt to what he had on uh, the other one with the X logo there. And so I mentioned the claws and the hands. So the fisted hands are the same thing, uh, just they don't have the holes in them where the, uh, the claws go. So technically you could just pull the claws out and have a fisted hand, but you'd have some ugly ports. Um, you know, with this way you can at least do a fisted hand where you don't have these ugly ports. And those came out looking pretty cool. I mean, the paint on them, pretty neat. So I like that. One cool thing, looking at the arms, they did use the same type of arm sculpt that they had on the uh, retro version, which is to say that he actually has uh, hair, you know, arm hair sculpted into it. But they didn't paint it on this one like they did on the retro one. Uh, but the Juggernaut version didn't have the hair sculpted in. So it's interesting that they used that body, but they did not bother to sculpt it in. There's that big old vein on his bicep. Oof. Yeah, look at that. Uh, looking down at the rest of the figure, not a whole lot going on paint-wise and detail-wise. Just the yellow there. And uh, boots came out looking real good. Looks like a little bit of a black smudge there, but not too big a deal. But yeah, overall, this costume definitely came out looking very good, very clean and uh, a very welcome addition for sure to the X-Men lineup. 
and checking out the scale we can see that wolverine is coming in on the shorter side much like his counterparts uh, he's at about five and a half inches tall to the top of his head and almost six inches tall to the uh, tip of his mask there uh, but again wolverine is a smaller character or a shorter character so i love that we get that shorter character represented uh, as far as articulation goes you have a head that can go side to side he can look down pretty far he can look up Eh, not too bad. It'd be nice if you could go a little bit further, but that's not bad. You do have arms that can come up. They do kind of get hindered by the shoulder pads. Eh, yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. Um, this arm seems to be... Oh, that's why. I got a little bit of flashing that seems to be preventing it from going up too far. Yeah, bummer. Uh, but either way, you do have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You do have a swivel and a hinge on the wrist and that goes for both hands. He does also have a butterfly joint there in the shoulder so he can get pretty far forward and backwards there on his arm. He does have a ab crunch which can go down pretty good. Go back, not too bad. His legs, eh, not too shabby. He can kick forward pretty far, kick back, not too far does have an upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, and then he does have that rocker and pivot, or ro rather rocker and hinge on the ankle. And for a quick comparison, here is the new Tiger Stripe Wolverine next to the original Juggernaut Wave Wolverine released with the brown suit. And let's go ahead and take a look at a quick head swap. The colors aren't too far off, to be honest with you. Um, might not really even be all that noticeable. So if you did want to switch them out, you know, under this light, it's a little bit more noticeable. But in person, to be honest with you, if you had these on display, you probably wouldn't really be able to tell. So if you did want to have an aggressive look for your, uh, for your Juggernaut Wave or your Retro Wave, or if you wanted to have the, uh, the Calm look for this one, um, yeah, they're not too shabby. You do get a difference in how the ear, well, I don't think they're ears, but you do get a difference in how the mask is orientated with this one being further back and this one being flared out a bit more. But that's not too bad. And here he is compared to the rest of the figures in this wave that I've reviewed so far. You got Psylocke, Sabretooth, Storm, and Magneto. And that about does it for this review. And uh, I want to real quick make a correction. I mentioned that the hair and such sculpted on his arms was something we saw in the retro wave. That was an error uh, on my part. That is only painted on on the retro wave. It is not sculpted on. So I believe this is the first time we've actually seen that sculpt work uh, for a Wolverine uh, figure like this. So I wanted to make that quick correction. But aside from that, this figure is definitely very cool. Uh, once again, just another welcome addition to the X-Men line. They've done great work on this line. Uh, this Apocalypse wave is just awesome. I can't wait to get to the Build-A-Figure. Uh, but you can see you have some very good posability. Um, and it looks awesome next to that saber tooth figure. I can't get over that. Um, but you can get some very good posability here with these figures. And uh, I'd like to point out too, this is uh, freestanding. I don't have a uh, anything holding them. So saber tooth is holding the weight of uh, of Wolverine here on this. But uh, definitely worth picking up, guys, if you do want to continue to build that X-Men collection or if you're trying to build the Apocalypse Wave. If you're not too keen on the costume and you already have one of the other Wolverine figures, obviously this is, one of the, this is the third time uh, that we've gotten a Wolverine figure here in the last roughly two years. So it's not that it's a new figure, but it's definitely just the new paintwork and the new costume. So uh, I still think it's very cool to get. Uh, but as I mentioned, that is it for this review, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. If you got a com comment on it, please leave that down below too. Always love to hear from you guys. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Hit that bell notification so that uh, you know when I post. And aside from that, thanks for watching my video and have a great day.